Hello, today I'm going to show you how to integrate your website to the Facebook platform utilizing the PHP SDK. This library gives us the ability to add the Facebook logon to our website along with all the other features provided by the OpenGraph API. To start, we go to developers.facebook.com and then click on Apps. Then we're going to want to create a new application, so click Create New App. Now let's create a name for our application. I'll call it WP Demo. We'll click Continue. Enter the CAPTCHA. Alright, you can see Facebook just provided our new application an ID and an app secret. We want to keep both of these because these will be very important when we open up the PHP SDK. Also on this page, make sure you choose a site URL. Save changes. So we'll have to wait a couple minutes for these uh, to take effect. Now going back to developers.facebook.com, we're going to go into documentation, and then you're going to see the SDK reference. We'll click on that. We're using the PHP SDK today, so we'll click on that, and you'll see the PHP, yeah, excuse me, the PHP SDK overview. So now we we'll want to download the PHP SDK. It's going to take us to GitHub and you'll see we can just click zip here to download to our desktop there we go so everything looks good let's extract what we just downloaded to a new folder and see what we got so in this SDK we have a folder examples uh, source and test we're going to examples and we'll check out the example.php file so here you can see that we have an app ID and an app secret provided in the example file. We'll of course want to change that out with what, with what we were provided by Facebook when creating our application. So let's go back to Facebook. We'll copy our ID and our secret. And put that into the example file. There. Now the example file has our ID and secret. So we'll save that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and up this, upload this to the FTP server of the domain that we provided. So we'll just grab this whole folder, drag and drop, and then we'll give it a try. Alright, so we're at the example page. If we log in, we'll have the ability to see more information. And once logged in, you'll be able to see your profile information. By default, you're only getting the basic uh, Facebook permissions. But if you want to get uh, more information, like perhaps their school or work information, uh, you're going to have to uh, request that. And we can go into the um, documentation that uh, Facebook provides. And going back into the SDK real quick, uh, you'll see... If we look at the object of uh, logon URL, there's ability to um, add permissions. So the parameter scope has all these different permissions, and you'll see there's a whole list of them here. So if you want the about me, the user's birthday, their check-ins, hometown, interests, location, relationships, I mean, you can get all of that, but you have to add it to the login parameters. So we go back into our example file, we locate the get login URL uh, method, and we now that we found the get login URL, we're going to add a parameter. We're going to actually add an array type parameter. So array, open parenthesis, and we're going to add scope, and then each, then this, we're going to add each of the permissions that uh, we want uh, to include in our website. So if we go back to the Facebook documentation, you can see um, we're using the parameter scope, and inside this we have all the permissions that we're requesting from the user. So if I scroll down, we'll ask for the user about me. So I'll go back. Add a comma, and let's do uh, one more. 
permission. How about uh, user hometown? So I'll copy that as well. Go back. And then close that. Perfect. And then if let's say something else that um, you'll notice in the example PHP file is that they're printing the entire user profile. But if you wanted to print or echo um, just uh, a single variable, as let's say the name, you'd, uh, you'd just take the echo variable and then print first name. And then you do the same uh, for last name if you want to do that. So anyways, there you go. Have fun and let me know if you have any questions.